Nielsen Show. I'm Josh Johnson, joined by my co-host, fellow stand comedian Logan Nielsen. Logan, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay, man. How are you? Um, I'm all right, but I know that that's a lie. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> You're not doing all right. Oh, I thought I thought you said I'm doing all right. <laughs> But that's a lie. No, 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 no. No, yeah, no. I'm you not, are, you're not. Doing I'm not doing. Right. Gr- but do you want me to rant about it again? I can, so I can get into it again. The subject of this week's episode, because I, I, based off of this being our second attempt at recording, I got to thinking last night, and I yeah. sort of threw away my idea for yesterday's episode. Okay. And I switched over to um, a new idea that I feel like is more pertinent, more topical. Okay, it's of the people. It's what the <laughs> it's what they want. It's what they want to hear about. It is uh, terrible Airbnbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, so yeah, because full disclosure. So I'm still in New York, mm-hmm. as as per last episode. He is indeed still here. This will be this is week two. I'm going on of of, of a three week stint. So. Uh, I'm, I will probably leave here, uh, cured of my desire to live here. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we tried recording last night. You came over, but you, <laughs> you forgot cords for the soundboard. Mm-hmm. So but I forgot some cables. Forgot some cables that are necessary because without them, you know, this doesn't turn on or, or, uh, record. Uh, good. We got a, we just had an ice cream truck and now there's just a car alarm going. So this is, yeah, yeah. There's a the city, man. I have a pretty irresponsible neighbor. <laughs> And, is it the uh, same one every day that goes off? It's not every day, but it's like too much. Yeah. It's to the point now where like it doesn't actually alert anyone. Like like sometimes when you right. hear a car alarm, you're like, is that a carjacking? Right. Is that, yeah, yeah, is yeah, that yeah, what's yeah. happening right now? Mm-hmm. And then it you hear it and it it just becomes like, nah, that's just Tony's car just yeah. sort of doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm in a... I'm in this Airbnb, and the last Air, honestly, most Airbnbs I've stayed in have been all right. I've I've rarely had like a bad experience. I've had some where you're like, eh, but it gets the job done. That car is going. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, I, mean, it, I, don't it know, takes, I don't They might not even be able to hear it. I have no they, idea. They but. might not be able to hear it, but in case you can, it does take. Uh, I've started calling him Tony because it seems like a Tony problem <laughs> to have. So this is the first like, time you've called it Tony at all. No, no. But I it's just it's just funny to me because there'll be some times where um it's going for like a while to where I'm like, I think the battery's gonna die. Yeah. Me, I don't know if this'll... Yeah, I'll see, I don't know. I I'll, I'll I can try to boost it. I don't know if that's <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean maybe the maybe they're not it. picking it up at all. But, but uh it's just it's <laughs> to talk try to talk while that's going. Yeah. Uh no, but yeah, I'm in this I moved to so me and Jess were together last week. She was in town. Great week, by the way. Maybe we'll get to that later. Uh, but and then I moved to a different Airbnb because she went back uh, to Iowa, and I'm here. And honestly, when I first got there, it was it was fine. Like I didn't love that. Like they clearly they clearly did some like editing on the photos to make it look like it it got way more light than it really did because it is a dungeon. It is yeah. There so is no when I came to visit you yeah what were your thoughts when you came by i was like oh man i didn't know that you were allowed to like uh put out an airbnb like just offer up an airbnb and smoke crack like it just felt like (laughs) it's it it felt it felt like the type of place where you go visit your friend who's going through something and then you realize your friend's not having a good a good time (laughs) Like it, it seems like the apartment from a drama where it's like, what are you doing, Benny? Yeah. Get it together. <laughs> All right. You're better than this. And then it's just like, because the, the lights don't make any sense. So what is yeah. the problem with the lights in uh, Logan's Airbnb is that clearly this this place that he was he's staying in is like a garden apartment. But clearly it was an afterthought it's just their basement because there are stairs that go right up so it is just their basement the lights don't make any sense in that the positioning of the light doesn't light enough things no so there could be lights evenly dispersed throughout the room that when all turned on light up the room Mm -hmm. but to my knowledge from you showing me uh i don't know if you turned everything on at once but when things were on they would light up a corner real hot. Like that's the crack yeah. corner where you want to make sure you can see yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, because clearly, so like, yeah, there's two switches and one lights up two 
pretty dim lights on the walls, and those were clearly added later. And maybe they added those, and they're like, "Ah, fuck, we need another one." <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the way they did the pictures too. Not only did it look super bright, so they probably used a flash. They also clearly did some color correction because it makes it looks like like bright daylight, and it is not. It is it, it is yeah. dingy in yellow, real life. Grim lighting. It looks like where Rocky lives between movies, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like like in Rocky Two, he'll be like, I did it, yeah. and then he goes back to this like real dungeon yeah. of an apartment, and his eyes are so swollen it doesn't matter. It's got bad lighting, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he's not looking at anything. And then Rocky Three comes around, and yeah. they're like, Hey, uh, Apollo wants a rematch, or whoever's in. Mr. T wants to fight you. Yeah. He's like, I'll do it. And then he <laughs> he leaves the apartment for the whole movie and then he comes right. back and then there's that movie where they're like, Rocky, you're broke. And he's like, oh, well, come see my house. It doesn't yeah. even matter. And then... That's the interesting one, too, because between Rocky 4 and 5, because I believe that movie takes place a couple days after Rocky 4, mm-hmm. and by the time he gets back, for some reason, he's totally broke and his son is eight years older. And it's never really explained. Do you ever, you ever get so <laughs> poor that your uh your kid grows up your kid grows up <laughs> really fast it almost seems like a metaphor like because when you because when you are poor you do yeah. have to grow up a bit faster it's because like, you have absolutely. to you have to live a bit more life but it's also you have like to no help. one's gonna help him out he just brought peace to russia and by punching a russian that's yeah. unprecedented <laughs> yeah that's everything that kennedy was trying to do like he uh, did the whole cold war in like 10 rounds <laughs> But then, uh, yeah, so one, is just dingy. And I think it has, like, put me in a weird headspace, too. I, I, I've been in, like, no, a weird mood today. It, it, it has. It as has. Soon as, as soon as I saw you, yeah. I was like, <sighs> no. Because I, I even told Jess today, I'm like, it kind of took me back to when, like, I was living alone in a basement unit. And, like, I was yeah. happier then. Like, that was, that was okay. But it was just, like, yeah. I've just been kind of, like, stressed all day. And one of the other reasons I'm, I was stressed all day is because they have a a child up there who we we don't know if that's a kid or a dog. No, cuz there's both. I've heard both cuz <laughs> they also have a dog. That got added to the mix today. You sure that's not just that kid barking? I mean, if it's also if it's a dog then that dog sometimes speaks in full sentences. So I don't know then then it's a miracle of science and nature and I would like to meet this talking dog, but wouldn't that turn will, your will, whole week around? I would forgive you- <laughs> it of everything. I would forgive it of everything. If I if they if they're like oh sorry it's our dog he he's he's energetic and he speaks fluent English like yeah, yeah that would be a whole different you know thing. how puppies are yeah you know, they are always talking yeah. in words uh huh no but so they they have a child up there who is one can run with the force of a grown man like he he is pounding that floor because even Jess was like maybe it's a baby you know babies run hard I'm like yeah but I'm hearing him like speak full sentences so it's like it's not like a baby baby this is what I think might be happening yeah um which in case you even at home you the listener the viewer may not know um the walls in New York are notoriously paper thin in Mm -hmm. lots of places yeah and our downstairs neighbors here are getting a free live show right yeah like our (laughs) um ceilings in new york are also made out of our walls which is why last night when you were there yeah and we were talking and was hearing the running because this kid is just doing full wind sprints front of the house back of the house for five six hours straight like non-stop it it would actually be kind of funny if that kid grows up to be an athlete that'd be something like like if that's the next usain bolt and we're (laughs) we're complaining about having to listen to him train (laughs) In the documentary, his mom's just like, listen, he he got us a lot of bad Airbnb reviews, but, yeah. but he is a champion. Yeah. No, but he was running so hard. Remember, I was I was sitting on the, the futon because it's just futon. It's got that Airbnb furniture where it's like they found the thinnest Ikea shit they could get. Um, I don't fault them for that. That's every Airbnb, you know, so whatever. Uh, but I was just sitting there talking to you, and then I felt something hit my hand, and I looked down, and I swore I saw like a piece of white bounce off, and I was like... Was that ceiling that just fell on me? And you were like, "That was absolutely ceiling." Yeah, <laughs> that fell yeah. On you. This so this thing has happened to a friend of mine before. They oh. stayed in a really bad Airbnb in Chicago. Now Chicago, I feel like has great Airbnb. I have not stayed in a bad one while I've been in Chicago because they're just mostly Chicago apartments, and a lot of Why Chicago apartments are dating? like 
really, really big. Oh, I have stayed in one Chicago Airbnb, and that was also clearly someone's basement that afterthought got turned into an apartment. And it was all right. There was at a point, because there's like a doorway that leads upstairs, like straight up their front stairs. So it is like mm-hmm. their basement. Yeah. And there was a point at night where we we thought they were having like a fight. It sounded like we heard like a woman crying. We heard a lot of yelling. And we were like, oh, no. And like they seem nice when we met them. We're like, wow, this seems intense. I think their TV is just like right near that doorway because eventually we heard music swell with the argument. We're yeah. like, oh, we're here in a movie. Yeah, but it sounded yeah. so real. Cause I'm like, I'm like, I think there's a woman crying right behind that door. I think she came down the stairs to cry. Do you know what's crazy is when you you're just in your Airbnb with your loved one and then you hear on full volume Marriage Story blasting through. <laughs> it might have been that. Your too. Wall. It might have been. And just wondering if you need to knock on the door, see if somebody needs help. And then you hear a full crescendo Yeah, at the yeah. end of the fight. I think even Jess pinpoint what they were watching one time because it was that, um, I can't remember the, the, the show, but the that Netflix show with the the lady who's got the the Tommy Wiseau accent. I can't remember the... The the Anna Delvey story. Anna Delvey thing. Yeah, I can't remember yeah, yeah. her name. I do, yeah. I'm in a weird place. They met. I didn't sleep much last night. I'm <laughs> but just the Tommy Wiseau thing is very funny. <laughs> just just <laughs> give me your money. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh man. <laughs> oh hi Mark. Sorry bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi bank. <laughs> uh, oh how hi bank. How's your sex life? Uh, but, um, <laughs> No, but there's a point like Jess could hear the accent. She's like, oh, they're they're watching that show. It, what, Inventing Anna, is that what it's called? Yeah, Inventing, Inventing Anna, Anna, yeah. And she like pinpointed what they were watching. And I was just like, that means that TV's either too loud or too close to the doors. But you couldn't like really hear it through the mm. the ceiling. But mm. the other thing with this Airbnb, sorry, mm-hmm. you were talking about Chicago Airbnbs. Oh, but. no, just a very quick thing. Uh, so the... <laughs> This Airbnb my friend was staying in was, once again, paper-thin sort of ceiling. And the upstairs neighbors were running around, and they clearly had a dog or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the same thing happened to him, but he was, like, eating um, a bowl of Frosted Flakes. Yeah. At a certain point when he... Because he stepped away, like, went to the bathroom. (laughs) And then when he came back, he saw around the bowl a couple of paint chips. Yeah. And so now he's like, I don't know if this is full of paint chips or not. Like, I don't know. Like, he was like, he was like, I bought this cereal. And it's like the last, because he'd been staying there for a week. Yeah. And he's like, the last bowl of my Frosted Flakes might be half paint chips. <laughs> is it falling into my mouth when I'm sleeping at yeah. night? Yeah. <laughs> And so he was like, he was like, I think I ate so many paint chips in Chicago because I was like, I was sleeping and just little yeah. pieces of ceiling were just trickling down. Because at first he I thought it was negative dust. for COVID, but positive for lead poisoning. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Just the idea that you're on your last bowl of frosted flakes that you love mm. so much, and then you come back, there's just a ring of paint chips <laughs> around the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like it, uh, it's it must have, it must have felt like you know you know like when you're uh in a in a building now and they're mm-hmm. like oh hey careful there's asbestos up there yeah it's it must have felt like that because he's like just going to the bathroom coming back to the table and then there's just like and he said that the ring was so perfect that like it felt it felt as if maybe a square of tile had like fallen down. <laughs> So he knows most of it is in the bowl. <laughs> yeah. And so now he's like, I didn't see it fall in. Ugh. And it's also milk on Frosted Flakes. So he's like, I'm never going to see the chips. Like, maybe if I just eat the... Yeah. Like if, I just, if, I just, if I just pretend everything's sugar. Yeah. If I just let it all soak long enough, won't, <laughs> won't the paint soak out? Like, won't the milk kill that paint? <laughs> He was like, he yeah. was like trying every you know, way like that in he movies could. when someone gets cut and they pour milk on it to sanitize. <laughs> he was just like, ah, ah. <laughs> where's the two percent? Two percent? <laughs> because it's, don't give me that skim, I'll get gangrene. Because <laughs> it's just, it was so wild, and he seemed so disappointed. Like even as he was telling me the story, he was looking down. 
that would be disappointing, man. No, yeah. it, it's and then it's like too. I I was just like frustrated, but then I knew we were gonna record, so I didn't really like go anywhere. And like the neighborhood I'm in, there's not a lot around. It's kind of a, a, a scant neighborhood, like a couple of you know convenience stores. So I was like, so I just kind of sat there. I, you know, I did like a Zoom with Jess, and I just like slowly just got like a, a genuine like migraine <laughs> and just. So it's like yeah, just a kid running, just and all like he was running all day. This kid was trucking all day and it's yeah. like listen i'm not for medicating kids but i'm not against it and it was yeah. my god i was we, like this kid what's so wild about that is that in the long term i wonder i'm not even saying it is i just wonder if life is actually fair because anyone who's doing that to so many people because this is airbnb so i'm mm-hmm. imagining people are checking in checking out all the time yeah. anyone who's making people live through that for like five years yeah. deserves to kind of not move that great when they get old. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it's, it's almost like the circle of life where yeah. you're, you're going to be in a home one day, just right. really pushing a walker. No. And I, sp- I spent a lot of time today too. Like just looking at hotels. I'm like, I don't need to, you know, just waste money, but like, I almost want to just move to a hotel because at least even, you know, I've been in hotels, people have been loud, but then you can call the lobby and be like, hey, can someone tell them to shut up? You can't do that when you're in someone's house. Yeah, like especially staying, when it's their house. I'm staying in a stranger's house. That's yeah. them up there. I can't be like, hey, can you tell your kid to fucking chill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the whole point I rented this one is I want to spend a couple of days relaxing and working. And That'd I'm not probably really be the craziest either. thing that you could do. It'd be wild. You, you just walk up, hey, can you beat him? <laughs> I at least want to hear a good trip or something. That's yeah, I yeah. I'm just saying. No, so it's just it's like that's just a lot. And then, yeah. and then the other thing that is, uh, we'll call it challenging, was that when I got in there, and first off, so I had to ch- check out from where me and Jess were staying, and then I had like a couple hours before I could check into this one. So I was just kind of out with my bags, and it was like a 20 minute walk from where we were. So I just kind of hung out in a park, and then I was like, all right, it's time to check in. So I walked, but it was you know. It's a, a record like heat wave right now. Yeah, yeah. So I just had my backpack and a, and a roller bag too. By the time I got to my Airbnb, my shirt was sweat. Like it just, I was soaked. And then I get in there and there's no air conditioning. Ooh. And I honestly, that's my bad. I didn't see that it said no AC on the thing. So that's that, that one's not on them. Yeah. And it's a basement unit. So it's been okay. It's been muggy, but it's been okay. Like I'm, I'm just fine. But, then I get in there, and then I go into the bathroom, and there's a sign above the toilet, and it says, uh, you know, please do not flush. And this is the order they do it in, which was confusing, but it says just please do not, you know, flush uh, paper towels, toilet paper, or feminine products. And putting toilet paper in the middle... Yeah, made to me, hide it. Yeah, and it made me, like, read past it. I had to, like, read... I'm like, is this saying I can't flush... Period. Like, is it just saying I can't use this toilet? Because then that's got to be in the listing. Yeah, yeah. And then there was another one by where the toilet paper is. And that one just said, don't flush paper towels. It said this, like, there's an old building, say, old pipes is built in like 19 or whatever. And it just says, you know, hey, don't, uh, don't, don't flush these things, but didn't say toilet paper that time. It's like, okay, are they just saying, like, hey, don't, you know, don't be reckless? It's old building, don't. You know, mm-hmm. don't, 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 don't have a party. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I messaged them. And I was like, hey, is this saying, like, never flush toilet paper? Cause, and it says use the the container provided. But the container provided is just, like, the little garbage can they have next to them. Like, is it there? Are you just asking me to wipe my ass and keep it? Is that yeah. what you're asking me? Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're asking me right now is to have a, a, a very uncomfortable collection? Because, okay, but then you got to <laughs> be clear feels about like, that shit in the listing. It like, feels like they're slowly trying to turn you into Jeffrey Dahmer. They're like, hey, right. you can't, don't use a toilet, and uh, <laughs> if somebody knocks on the door, you should eat them. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just, you can have friends <laughs> over if they're not, like, breathing. Yeah, yeah, and, like, you know, it's probably great to, like, wear someone else's head. So, like, just think about that. Think about those yeah, things. Yeah, just do that stuff, and then. Do that stuff, and it's fine. And so I messaged them, and I was like, this is me never, and, they're, and <laughs> their wording was, like, they're like, yeah, it's just, it's really close to where, like, the sewage outlet is, so, like, it may... You know, it doesn't always get to dissolve, you know, the toilet paper, you know, so something that creates clogs. They said, you know, so they said, uh, uh, just be careful. And I was like, what? 
what in the entire fuck does that mean? Be careful. To be careful while flushing a toilet. You shouldn't have to flush a toilet like you're detonating a, a bomb. You have, like you should have to touch it like, ooh. <laughs> I shouldn't have to like push it a little bit and then be like, was that too much? I mean, yeah, like I won't go nuts with it. It's like, and like, listen, I know there are places that do that. It depends on the pipe system. It depends on the placement, blah, blah. But you got to warn a guy. That's got to be in the list. That also that gives has you, to be in the listing. It gives you no confidence in anything. The, in anything in the place. The water is clean. It gives they, me no confidence it, the ceiling might not just fall. Like, I don't know, especially with that kid running. I mean, it did fall. You know, a little piece of it fell. That's yeah, honestly yeah. true. I just, I also Ugh. think that when you are getting an Airbnb, you obviously want the pictures to be accurate. My favorite Airbnb that a friend even stayed in. My buddy stayed in this thing, and he was telling me about it. I felt so bad because I, I told him he could stay with me, um, but could have told me that. He, well, this is a different time in my life. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. I, I basically was in this situation where uh, I was still living with uh, Jeff and Amy. Okay. And Buddy came to stay, and then he was about to move into an apartment. But then in the interim, he was like, oh, let me move out a little early. Maybe I can get to the apartment early. And I was like, okay, if you're sure. And he... Airbnb from this guy. I don't even know how Airbnb will let you list things for like a suspicious amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll let them get very expensive. Obviously, there are people. Yeah. There are people. I didn't even know this. There are people, rich people, whose Malibu homes they will put on Airbnb for like actually an affordable rate if oh, you all use the room. You'll you'll see like houses in like like picturesque parts of the country that are like. 500 bucks like for a night i'm i'm talking about a mansion right where if as long as you bring enough people to use every room that's in there right you'll be able to afford it right yeah so 500 too. per person for 15 people right. so obviously that's a lot of money yeah. per night mm -hmm. but like hey if you if you had 1500 and i had 1500 we want to stay three nights at a mansion and we just had to get every friend that we've Mm -hmm. That we've ever had that we don't think will ruin anything <laughs> to come with right. us. I had to whittle a doubt. I don't want to say every friend we ever had because now it sounds like we only have six friends apiece. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well. but, but basically, uh, he stayed at this Airbnb. And <laughs> when he got to the... He knew it was going to be small because the pictures were a little blurry. So he was like, okay, whatever I'm signing up for isn't good. Yeah. And it was also twenty dollars a night. So he's also that's, like, that's that's this is crazy. And this is also early days of Airbnb too. Oh okay. so a lot of people don't know. I I maybe people knew about Airbnb, but a lot of people weren't using it as regularly. Like no. now we actually compare Airbnbs to hotels. So we'll be right. like, let me see how much a hotel is, let me see how much an Airbnb is. This is before we got to that stage mm -hmm. as as people. Right, yeah. So this is still when you had to kind of know what Airbnb was. What Airbnb was, how to spot like what's a deal a good, what's and a what's deal a scam. Or what's, or yeah, what's a scam, what's real. And so yeah. the pictures were very blurry. Goes over there <laughs> and it's, it's a tent for the $20 a night in the backyard. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Is a tent in the backyard, and the guy doing the twenty dollar tent in the backyard. There's two other tents, so it's, you're not even in a tent alone in the backyard. There and, are other tent people, and there. nowhere on the listing it said it was a tent at all. Didn't seem like it. Fucking and so then wild. So then he's in he's in his tent, and he's like, it's actually not that bad. Like it's obviously bad. But he's like, hey, I'm new to New York. I'm like, he's also very young at the time. Was it like in the city too? No, I think it was in Brooklyn. But but I mean like in New York proper though. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. in Brooklyn in a tent in someone's yard. Yeah. I mean the mo the craziest part of this story is that someone has a backyard. I think you're <laughs> <laughs> You're getting caught up on little details. <laughs> I mean you're getting caught up on tents and like <laughs> Anyway, I mean, I don't know. So, so basically, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm getting yeah, fuck me for getting caught up on the tent. <laughs> yeah, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. That so, I'm like, I can't believe someone tried to rent out a tent. So basically, this dude is is in the tent, and then the guy who's listing the Airbnb and has all the like tent people out there mm-hmm. <laughs> comes to his tent. In the middle of the night, and then just starts chatting with him, just starts like talking to him, which he was like, This can't be going anywhere good, you know? And then while he was talking to him, a guy uh comes to the backyard mm-hmm. who must have just let himself in the house, I have no idea, but comes to the backyard and is like selling this dude drugs in front of the tent. <laughs> and so he's like, he's like Man, this guy's not even trying to like cover it. Like he must not care about <laughs> reviews at all. Cause you lied that I'd be inside. I'm inside a tent. Right, yeah. And then you're you're selling you're you're buying drugs in front of me. Mm-hmm. Directly in front of me too. Right. Like like a and then the funny thing to me, he was like he was like, Imagine if I did drugs, I'd be so offended. You just bought drugs in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even offer me some sort of deal in or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You're not even making that a part of like, hey, listen, I know I'm making you stay in a tent, but uh, I got this rock. <laughs> yeah. No, man. It, w- it was, that was like properly bad. I felt bad for him. He was there for like three nights or something. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. A I- full on tent. And then there was one where when I was, this is when I was on the, uh, college tour mm-hmm. and I think I was going to it was in New Hampshire was it Keene I can't remember where I was in New Hampshire but I was still doing a little bit of the couch surfing do you ever use couch surfing no okay do you know what it is though I've heard of it yeah but I, so I never used it I was still using couch surfing I only use it a couple times because it was very hard for me to get reviews because when people don't know you, they're nervous about letting you stay in their apartment, especially for free. And like, so then I kept trying to like um, throw in perks. So I'd be like, hey, if you let me stay, um, I can get you tickets to my show or I can, you know, mm-hmm. wh- whatever the thing was that would help. Right. And so I was in New Hampshire. I was looking up places to stay next because I realized I hadn't planned a hotel yet. Oh. Okay. And I also was still, this is like, earlier in the tour so i don't have the money to really like oh, i'll just stay at whatever i get whatever's close when i get there right like yeah. this is still a point in my life where i had to like meticulously plan ahead and i had let this extra day slip through the cracks oh okay yeah so i i really i had to like okay i'm gonna take a bus here to here and i'm gonna like all that routing stuff mm-hmm. which i was also scared to do like i ended up paying more because I kept putting it off because I was so scared to do it right. and get it wrong. Yeah. Anyway, I let a date in New Hampshire slip through the cracks. So I'm already in New Hampshire, and I take a Greyhound in the morning for like an hour and a half to get to this next place. Yeah. And it's also just so funny because you think of life so differently now, not just because of where a person is like in relation to where they used to be, but also because of what we have now. So like... At that time, I didn't even fully understand Airbnb. I knew about couch surfing. Right. I didn't even really like try to counter the bus with anything. So I was just like, buses are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> just hopped on the bus. So uh, I'm I'm taking this bus, and as I'm like looking up couch surfing things, I'm like, man, no one's responding to me in time. So I'm gonna have to like maybe get this Airbnb thing people have been talking about. Right. And so that might have been one of the first time I actually put my credit card on Airbnb. Oh, okay. So I think I'd looked up Airbnb before, but this is the first time I've like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it because I can't afford mm-hmm. a hotel day of. I Right. You know yeah, I mean, I'm not just gonna sleep in the bus station or something. Right. And so I start looking up um some airbnbs in the area and that's how i knew i was in a bad area like it was like it was these were horrible in the picture <laughs> yeah, they were if they're they bad were, in the picture they were so bad in the picture that i was like this this is there was one place that i looked at, i was like this is drugs all the yeah. drugs could yellow a wall like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like it was like it got to the point where i was like it for you to put it on here it must have 
it had to at least used to have been good. Right. Either either there was no filter on the phone that could fix this color, yeah. or you don't know how to do that, and therefore you can't be a trustworthy management. <laughs> yeah, there was there was a place where in and these are the pictures they're showing you. So they could elect to like try to hide something till you get there. So the pictures they're showing look like someone's been putting out cigarettes just anywhere. Right. Like anywhere, anywhere. And these places are like 45 bucks a night, 50 mm -hmm. bucks a night, whatever. And so I'm looking at the prices and I'm like, man, I can't do it. Though. Like I was like in my head, I was like, <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. Then um, someone happened to email, like respond that day from, uh, from couch surfing. I ended up getting to crash on someone's couch. But that saved me from what we're definitely going to be like. No, there was one that was just a dorm, and in the oh. in the listing of the thing, it was like, "This is my dorm." Don't like it was like it was like someone was openly trying to get everyone to keep their secret. They were like, "This is my dorm. Uh, just don't like blow my cover." Essentially, right is what they were well, saying. Especially in those early days, there was a lot of like because people were just doing it in like apartments where. You know, they didn't own the apartment; they were just staying in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring it on there. Like, I think now it's more rigorous how you get, you know, I think approved or whatever. Because I remember a partner yeah. I had two people were just like, "Why don't you just Airbnb that room?" Like, I, I'm like, I, I don't own it. The owner's family lives downstairs. Like, that just sounds like I'm going to absolutely get caught. And the lease says no Airbnb. <laughs> like, yeah, know? yeah. It's it. And also, people, like Airbnb, like I guess just puts it out there. Like, yeah, it, it's it's not good for like neighborhoods and stuff. So it's. Like, <laughs> Like, but like they, but, it but was, sometimes I gotta save money. It was so rampant. It was so so rampant that every place in every state started putting whether or not you could Airbnb your place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's rare that you get something that's that bad that it makes everyone collect. Because no law got passed to make people say you have to tell people whether or not you own the Airbnb. Everyone just started Everyone. just started being like, this is chaos. Yes. So I'm personally just going to say, don't Airbnb it. And then that spread like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it, well, it's because now it's like, it's just inviting so much into your home. <laughs> like, or a, a building you own. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And I see that there are better deals. Like, there are cheaper ones I could get to that are like, it's just a room in someone's place, and I just I don't fuck with that. So like I I never would have done the couch surfing one anyway. I just like my own space too much. And there the couch surfing one is so interesting because it's such a community, and I really appreciate everyone that let me stay with them. I only used it maybe four or five times in between mm -hmm. uh, hotels and Airbnbs and stuff because then sometimes the, I, like as you know the college will also sometimes have a hotel for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then that also helped me because I was like, okay, if I couch surf for the two days before i already have a hotel then i'm like only making money this entire time right i only have to worry about my food and the transportation which i had already planned before i left new york mm -hmm. so i was like in a good spot and yeah luckily i didn't i didn't really have anybody that was weird weird on on couch surfing like, everyone was pretty much like, I would even ask them, I was like, why do you do this? And then they were like, well, you know, one time um, I was like stranded in Finland and just a stranger saw me sitting at the bus stop and then let me stay at their place. And ever since then, I've been trying to like pass it yeah. forward or whatever. And I was like, wow. Like, it like it was it was honestly the most altruistic reasons I've ever heard oh, for, sure. for people doing that. And I have a feeling you're more likely to to be the recipient of crazy you know, if you know weirdness, if you're the renter, <laughs> yeah. rather than the rentee, you know what I mean? Yeah, most people yeah. who are doing that are probably like, yeah, either someone just wants the extra money. They're pro they're clearly chill enough to just have someone in their house, you know. But cow surfing, you don't have to pay. Oh, it's just uh, I so. Oh, I'm, that's just nice then. That's just that's what I'm saying. Oh, that, that, okay, that is just a nice community. That's why I was like, oh, this I thought is crazy. Was, I thought that was like a rent a couch thing. I, I never did it. I no, heard of it. No, I no. never realized it was just literally just crash on couches. That's nice. Yeah, there, there's one of them that you're renting the couch, but then the one that I did oh, okay. was straight up. That's why it was so hard to get people to respond sometimes because like, it's not like people were on it all the time. Some people almost kind of used it like a little bit Facebooky in a way where they right. like. Uh, Especially if they were world travelers, because I think the way that it started was world travelers trying to help each other out, like 
I live in the Netherlands. Right. So anyone in our community that comes to the Netherlands can stay with me as long as too many of you don't come at the same time. Yeah. So then to jump into that is very hard because you have to leave a lot of, you have to get a lot of reviews for people to trust you. Yeah. Especially because it's free. Yes. Okay. And that, so, that does add a whole new uh, element to it. That makes it nicer, but then, yeah, probably yeah. does make it, you got to be a little That's why I was like, cagier. yeah, I was a little scared. Like, I remember the first yeah. time I fell asleep at one, I was like, this is it. I should have just spent that $80 and, yeah. like, now nah, I'm about to <laughs> I mean, be murdered. Yeah. I don't know. And you you know my, my everyone does, my general dislike of, uh, you know, uh, strangers and getting to know people. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so c- crashing on just people's couches, uh, I don't know, there'd be too much pressure to be like, how much do I have to talk to you? How much do I have to, like... I remember... Because I'm not rude. I, I'm not a rude person, but I just, I like my quiet, too. I like to just... The what's the James Franco movie? This this one will really bother you. This whole thing. I've I've talked about this for way too long already, um, but this story is going to make you very upset. One oh, second. Okay. One second. The James Franco movie. Not actually. I don't think you'll actually be angry, but this is. Give me one second. I'm 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 too exhausted to be truly angry about anything right now. Okay, so you know the. James Franco and uh, Jonah Hill movie True Story. I've I've heard of it. Okay, I watched that movie with someone I was couch surfing with, uh-huh. and it was just this very sweet, like like incredibly sweet out of a movie, little tiny old woman that <laughs> that had done like couch surf. She had got on the couch surfing thing, yeah, and like, yeah, someone's got a big dick. All right. I'm not saying that this is the reason, but this is what it felt like. So I'm not saying she was, she's not a sad person. She was very happy. (laughs) But it did seem like she did, she would do Airbnb and couch surfing, which is why her couch surfing is even nicer because she can make money off of renting the room and whatever. And sometimes she just chooses to like let somebody stay for free, Uh you know. And basically, we hung out for like a whole day it was like see that's the thing this this has josh johnson written all over so it, this so, whole situation this dude has, i've talked before about how long he just will talk to just uh, like people at the, the reception desk at hotels and that, that's that's the, a good thing about you i'm just saying this this is a, a very much a josh johnson adventure app we we hung out Rent all day because what? we i got in mm-hmm. right and so i get it and man, okay so just from off the rip I think that's the fridge. Oh, is that the fridge? I was like, that's just a new one. I was like, that's yeah. going from that way. <laughs> um, so just off top, I get in and I message her if I can come by a little bit earlier because I was like, hey, I wanted to just make sure I take a quick nap before my show and everything. Mm-hmm. And I know I'm getting in early in the day, so when's a good time to check in and stuff? Yeah. And then she was like, um, she was like... <laughs> Oh, you can come by whenever. I'm just hanging out. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. I get to the apartment, and she lets me in, and her daughter is leaving. Um, okay. So her, so her and her daughter had been having lunch, I guess, and her daughter's leaving. And then I sit down, and she's like, we have some leftover sandwiches if you want anything. If you Can I feed you? I was like, oh, no, I'm good. It was like, it was like hang out with my grandma. And then she just kept trying to feed me. And then we were sitting there. (laughs) We were sitting there and she started just telling me stories about her family. And it was before I knew it, it had been an hour. And I was just like, man, this this lady's like the coolest. And she was like, do you have any um, uh, errands you want to run or anything? Like I was like, oh, yeah, I actually do need to go to CVS. (laughs) And so we we went to CVS together. (laughs) We went to CVS together, and we uh. were, <laughs> and we, <laughs> so we go to CVS, and I do not know how you haven't been kidnapped. Like I don't know how someone truly hasn't taken you hostage. But it, <laughs> you but, wonder into these scenarios a lot. <laughs> but she's so little. It was like it was hilarious too, because she, she had a little. She had a little. It wasn't a a donut. 
mm-hmm. but she I guess she had, had an injury and so she had a little cushion on the the driver's seat mm-hmm. but then the cushion also seemed like it was helping her see over the steering wheel <laughs> So it looked like it was just serving dual purpose. Like, because she was talking about, she was like, now you'll have to be patient with me. I walk a little slow because I, uh, I I fell. <laughs> and the way I had to try not to laugh when she was telling me because I really didn't want to offend her. Because right. by now we're like chilling. We're like, we're yeah, like buds, you're the, you're right? You're best friends now, yeah. And so then um, uh, she, she was like, oh, I fell because... And I've seen something like this happen before, so it makes sense. But basically, she fell, and then she tried to get up quick. She said she felt like if she got up fast enough, she wasn't hurt. And so she fell. That and is like, perfect, and like, like, old person logic. Yeah, you know, like, when you're, like, it's like when yeah. you're a kid, and you are you trip, but you're embarrassed, and you're like, no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. You try to save it. Yeah. And she, basically, she fell, and she tried to get up so fast that she fell again. Oh. <laughs> And that's when she really did the damage. And so she was walking like uh she was walking a little slow and had like a little bit of a of a wiggle to, you know, compensate. Mm-hmm. Um and, and she goes, uh, the doctor says I'm gonna make a full recovery, but I mean at my age, what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, she she sounds uh, badass. Yeah, she was, like, she was like, if you do your best, you'll still have a seventy year old hip. <laughs> <laughs> and so we go to CVS, and uh, she's like giving me like mild to hot goss on everybody at the CVS. This is a small ish town. Oh, okay. And so she was like, oh the the uh, the cashier there used to work at Arby's, but her service was terrible. <laughs> See right there. That is why she rents out the couch. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted people to gossip with. Yeah, she, yeah. And clearly, her daughter's heard all of it already. Her daughter's heard all of it, and if she's talking shit about everyone, she'd probably don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> so, 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 I'm gonna just let people stay on my couch. Yeah, but no, she would tell me. She would like tell. So it was the full benefit of a nosy old woman because she was telling me about people we were passing in the car. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we would be passing people the car on That's the sidewalk. Great. She'd be like, Oh, him right there. He was <laughs> I was like, Yeah, because like I also don't care, but also I only saw the back of his head. Yeah. So it's not like we talked to him <laughs> and then she's yeah, walking. I, like I have least, I have no perspective on him. I yeah. have not seen this man. I didn't know he was there. Yeah. Like, like at least the cashier like dropped her cookie to it. Like 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 when she was telling me <laughs> About the cashier, I was like, oh, that sparked a little memory because of the awkward thing right. that just happened. Yeah. Because yeah. she, <laughs> to be fair to my my older friend, the cashier did, <laughs> it, it was kind of a boss move because it worked for me and then it didn't work for her. <laughs> so she rang everything up. This is her process, right? right? The cashier rang everything up. And then opened one bag and then tried to slide everything, like scoop everything in the bag. And so I got a bunch of snacks and like a new toothbrush and some stuff. Mm. And so for me, it worked because right. it was like everything I got was small. And then, <laughs> and then this woman that I'm saying we got m- many more things right. and she still tried it. And so yeah. most of it just missed the bag. Yeah. You can't do it with a gallon of milk. You can't. <laughs> she's just she's just like scooping it off the counter, and then it just starts falling, falling, falling. And then as it's falling, she keeps scooping because she's like, some of it's gonna land in there. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, so then we go back. I invite her to the show. Okay. Um, which she was like, oh, if I, I, if I come, I'll have to like come a bit later or you like first or whatever and right. like all that stuff and so she was nice enough to drop me off at the at the college and wow. was like I can pick you back up if you want and blah blah and I'll definitely you can ride with me if you mm-hmm. if you if I do come to the show um, also I pinned my number to your shirt yeah. so if, if you get lost just tell someone to call that there's a sign on your here's, back that says you're my son <laughs> here's a baggie and so, so got then a sandwich in there for you I do the show and I I can't remember if she came or not, sadly. Because that would be very sweet if she came. Anyway, but I take an Uber back because I just don't, you know, hear from her or anything. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, she must not have come because she opened the door when she... Anyway, um, but then we get back inside and she's 
watching maybe it was hbo or showtime and she's like a movie's about to come on do you want to watch and we just watched <laughs> true story with james franco and jonah hill and she just kept gushing on james franco the entire time like she was like she would just turn to me and be like i know he's a murderer in this one but he's dreamy <laughs> luckily he ended up being very cool in real life too yeah yeah it's it's <laughs> It's clearly her Hollywood crush. Uh, oh. And then we watched the whole thing. And then she had to be bummed a couple years ago <laughs> if she's still with us. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she passed to miss the fall of James Franco. <laughs> what if she wanted it that way? What if she was like, I'd rather die <laughs> than, <laughs> than hear a than bad lose, word said about James than Franco? Lose my James Franco. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, we we watched True Story, and I'll never that's not about. forget that. That was like very cool. She was like a great stay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a good story. I like that a lot. So maybe maybe I do need to uh, uh just uh, I don't know involve myself in people's lives instead of under them. Uh, I, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, it's also gone poorly. Like oh for sure. Like there there have been times where I know I listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> I know your stories are a real 50 <laughs> 50. Either something great happens or something inexplicable happens. Hi. So, the next Airbnb that you're going to mm -hmm. has this given you pause. Are you nervous now? A little, a little, because it's not that far away from the one I'm in now. <laughs> and the pictures of it, it's a weird setup, but yeah, it does have some amenities. Like, I mean, mainly it has air conditioning, so mm -hmm. like that will make me happy. Mm -hmm. uh, and windows, because it's not a basement unit. So I'll just probably be less just uh, depressed. Cause it, and this one does have windows in the bedroom, and it looks straight out to garbage. It just looks out... Straight into the back of the garbage cans. Not even, not even the pile of garbage, but like yeah. just the cans are there in front of the windows. So it's not really a, it's not really a view. Uh, so I have one more. Okay. Um, Airbnb whore uh, that I think. Scarebnb. Maybe we should just stop. That was episode. a good one. No, that was a I'm good not, pun. I'm not even saying it wasn't good. I'm saying that maybe you know we both had a long day. Right. You're saying nothing can top it. Nothing can top scare B and B. So we should probably end quit while we're ahead is what you're saying. That's what Josh is saying. Why don't we go out of focus for a second? Uh, Cause the light is uh, going away. So it's uh, having trouble. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay. It's having a little trouble focusing on both of us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get real close. Now. Yeah. My bad. Did I mess it up by leaning back? No, no, that okay. was fine. Um, I was leaning back. I think I was the first one to lean back. So, so <laughs> now there's there's a light there, so this will be over soon. Yeah, that's a really hip ice cream truck. <laughs> God, this ice cream is is really hot. Do they put a lot of cinnamon in it? Or <laughs> oh, my mouth's on fire! Oh my God. Uh, so basically. I have a friend, uh, just for all intents and purposes, let's call him Benny, just so that we can keep the story straight, okay? Now, so, Benny or Benny? Let's call him Sam. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> so, so Sam was getting an Airbnb because he had to stay... Um, for a friend's wedding a couple extra days. Okay. And so <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it was basically him staying with um, his friends in a hotel for like three nights. Right. But then whenever they needed to stay a bit longer, they could he couldn't float it. So he was downgraded to an Airbnb that was cheaper than splitting the hotel that they were at. Because I guess they got a group deal for everyone that was in the wedding. But oh, then, yeah, the, yeah, you but can then get the, the extra stay it wasn't covered by the right. wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so 
Yeah, because you only get that deal when you're blocking off a bunch of rooms. So yeah. It's like you're still putting a lot of money into the hotel, but yeah. Yeah, and so so he stayed for the wedding and then stayed a couple extra days for business and stuff. Okay. And he's staying at this Airbnb, and it, this, this woman is um, renting it from the like upstairs so she's upstairs kind of like your situation she's upstairs and then downstairs is the airbnb mm-hmm. and while he's there this guy knocks on the door he comes to the door and the guy is like who the hell are you and she and, and, <laughs> <laughs> jesus and sam is like uh i'm staying at the airbnb he's like oh really and he's like, yeah, like what? Who are you? <laughs> like you know that thing where someone starts interrogating you, and it takes you a second to be like, wait, why am I answering your questions? Yeah, you yeah. know, you have um, no authority over me. I think. And, I then, <laughs> and then the guy at the door is like, that I'm asking because there's no Airbnb here. And he's like, yeah, there is. It's on Airbnb. I rented it. I got the keys from the person upstairs. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah blah. And he's like, oh. Okay, and then he goes to like around, which I guess is how you get to the like first floor or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, and then the person he rented from comes down, and then he w- walks back up to him with the woman that gave him the keys. Like, mm-hmm. who is this? And she's like, he's renting the Airbnb. And he's like, there's no Airbnb here. And she's like, yes, there is. And then she, <laughs> then the guy is like, so. You're not lying to me, are you? Like to him. And he's like, no. And then she's like, stop it. And he's like, you're not lying to me either, right? And you're like, no. And then finally he's like, who is this person? And she says, this is my ex-husband. And then he's like, husband. Whoa. There's the whole story in that one assertion. That, yeah. that is the entire story. <laughs> And so he's just standing there now <laughs> while they argue if there's an Airbnb there. So then he, And now they gotta argue if they're still married. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And so he never got the full story, but he's like, this guy probably thought I was like here to have sex with his wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is clearly a suspicion already on his mind. Yeah. Wow. Which is, you know. How do you leave a good review after that? Like, how do you leave a... Yeah. Because you're scared for a second. Because you're like... Because the guy didn't just go like, oh, okay, and then walk away. He was like, oh, right. all right. And it's like he just walked away. Maybe he was really hoping to be able to stay in the basement for their trial separation. And now this is confirmation yeah. that he will not be able yeah. to do that. Now this is just horrible. You also can't... Someone say, this is my ex-husband. You can't just go, no, husband. Like, that doesn't fix it. No. <laughs> That it does, really doesn't. That does nothing. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe I. Okay, I'll continue avoiding people. I've. I've yeah, gone, I didn't. I didn't I've wanna, gone. I've gone full circle. I didn't want to <laughs> skew you and like fill your. You know. <laughs> you you want to give me optimism for people? Yeah. No. Oh, not worth it. Uh, should we open up the mailbag quick? Let's do it. What do you? What uh, do you want to go? We got some just some new ones, or should we do some of the ones that were for our our hundredth? That we maybe we do one old, one new, one old, one new. Okay, yeah. let's see how old do we want to go here. We'll do this one. This is this isn't like old old, but this this is from a month back. But uh, this is from Kyle, and it says uh, the title is Fair Fish, and then this is interesting. You know, mm-hmm. you're, you got this angle looking. It's just at my now. neck was starting to. Hurt. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Starting to hurt bad, and I've been trying to handle it the entire time, and it's been almost oh, an hour. We could have done this. No, from the, the it's, beginning. it's it's fine. Do you want I me didn't. to turn this way to you? You, too? you don't have help? to because you have to read. Well, you I, have can, to, I can just. I can why would you do it. it like that? I don't know, man. That's. <laughs> but it says, uh, "Hey J Lo, thought you'd like to hear that I once won the healthiest and strongest fair goldfish to ever live when I was 13 years old. I, we, fair goldfish have come up a few times on this yeah. show, so yeah." Uh, I didn't know this thing would last longer than two weeks, so I named him Dinner. That's dope. That's a great... Wow. That's a great name. Wow. Well, he lived for over six years. <laughs> he survived the harrowing experiences of... And now there's a little bullet point list. 
One, living in a tiny bowl for two years. We changed the water weekly by scooping him up in a ladle and keeping him in a soup bowl until the fresh water was conditioned. Two, overfeeding him. So just <laughs> Three, my older brother feeding him crushed up Oreos. That's a dope life, though. This fish sounds like he's actually doing, like, that's why he, he kept fighting. He's like, yeah. I love these. <laughs> this, yeah, this, this is dessert great. dessert fish food they give me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the same older brother chasing him with a letter opener. So I'm assuming that means just putting it in the water and trying to... Cause and just, like, spinning it around. That's what I'm guessing. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just stirring. Yeah. Uh, we got him an actual. Oh, we got him an actual tank-like bowl with a lid to protect him from my psychopath brother. And then finally, a glow stick accidentally leaking into his water. What kind of this is? This is probably like in fish heaven. He party the hardest. Yeah, like he's he's, he's seen things stories other goldfish have never seen. He finally died when I went to college, and my dad was away for the week, and my mom quote didn't know she was supposed to feed him. She apparently thought he was a plant and not a living water being. R.I.P. Dinner. Love y'all, Kyle. That moment, my, that goldfish might still be alive if it hadn't been for his mother's negligence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this you, is the closest thing to a murder. You need to you need to hold that over her forever. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Uh, and let me look for. Let's see a new new one here. Uh, Oh, okay. This is, this is uh, real recent. So this is from where's the name? I guess Don. Uh, and this the the title is Ayo, Heyo, Hello, J Lo. So wow, fire points on that title. Fire. Uh, uh, I was introduced to Josh's comedy via a random ad to my work playlist years ago of his earliest album, I Like You, and have been hooked into his hilarity ever since. Like many have already said before, Logan is the perfect component. Uh, I think this is com- I'm the perfect component. Okay, so it's, I'm, the, I'm the only thing working about this Yeah, thing. I mean, maybe they mean opponent, but yeah. <laughs> I thought companion, but opponent's probably good too. <laughs> Logan is the perfect component in this podcast for Josh with his unhinged laughter, antagonizing, and overall love and concern for his totes bestie. Uh, come on. Love you. It looks like there's more there. There's not. Nah, let's just sit in this for a second. That's not necessary. Uh, I took I took my mom and brother to see Trevor Noah at the Foxwood Casino in Connecticut and completely forgot that you opened for him when you were introduced. I lost my shit and couldn't stop shaking and yelling at my bro and mom in excitement, telling them how hyped I was to see you live and in in person. Wish I could have hung out there long enough to have raced you on that indoor go kart track. Oh, yeah. Was there an indoor track there? Did I not tell you about this? Was that what we talked about last I time? I thought we talked about it, but... I, I guess I didn't know it was indoor. I yeah, guess. yeah, but then, indoor. Okay, so that was... So from that recent episode... Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, I live in PA, but I won't be able to see y'all uh, at the Punchline in Philly next week because I work second shift during the weekdays, and that weekend I'll be in D.C. cosplaying at an anime convention. Okay. Uh, I mean, quit your job. Do the anime convention. Quit your job. Come on out. Uh <laughs> Nothing but the best of luck to you both and hope to meet y'all face to face one day. Rating 69 nice weebs out of five weebs. Thank you so much, Don. P.S. Question. Yeah. Have either of you uh, attended any conventions, whether an anime, game, etc.? And who would y'all be willing to cosplay as if you did? Have you ever been to a, like an anime convention or comic yeah, book convention? Yeah, I've, I've been to a couple. Um, what, what, what did I go to? I went to one that was in La- Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, I can't remember the name of it. And I think I've been to something called... Man, I, don't, I can't remember what it was. It was like half comic books, half um, old, old... Like, it was a comic book convention, but it was like half like comic books and then half old, super old... Uh, like TV nostalgia stuff. So they'd be like, I was an extra on Knight Rider, you know, that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just yeah. kind of ro- a regular, um, uh, kind but of I have convention. been, I have been to one, I've been to two technically because I went to Comic Con in 2016, the New York Comic Con. Oh, and okay. And then um, I went to that one in Lafayette in like 2009, maybe. Um, okay. But yeah. I've, I've never been to a comic book 
I don't think I've been to any convention like that. Does do car shows count? I go, <laughs> we go to car shows with my dad a lot, so mm. that's like a car convention. It's not really of. the same thing at all. But I mean, people are dressed up there, like that's not. like hillbillies. <laughs> I mean, I think that's just how they dress. But like <laughs> yeah, this 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 whole thing is is not car convention, comic con. Okay, but now to answer the second part of that question, though, who would you cosplay as? Do, someone said, "Who's the?" electric um shock superhero that's not black lightning it's static shock yeah people have said i look like static shock was he from uh i think dc oh okay yeah yeah pretty sure dc okay what about you um hmm who would i cosplay as i don't know what could i pull off some some kind of sitcom dad <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe like yeah, like a dad from Yes Dear. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, I don't know, Marklin Baker from Perfect Strangers. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I, could, I could, you know, I could probably if I, you know, cut some hair. I could, I could do, I could do early season Hopper from Stranger Things, maybe. Back when he was when he was, oh, thi- yeah. when he was still thicker. Did he get skinny? Yeah, he's skinny now. Well, because he got ripped for. I'm um, very behind. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, he's he's ripped this season. They worked in the storyline, but also he got ripped for um, the Black Widow movie. And uh, when you say ripped, do you mean like pants ripped from all the weight that he gained? No, he's very big in Black Widow. He's like out of shape in Black Widow. But 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 he's like way thinner than he was. Maybe he lost it for for Stranger Things then. But no, he's like he's, yeah. he's much thinner now than he was. I like to think some he's actors way more fit cuz he had a he had a gut though like in the early days of Stranger Things and now he's like he's he's pretty fit now cuz he did it for Hellboy too, I guess. Hellboy is probably uh, what he bulked up for is what he got kind yeah, of. Yeah, cuz I like to think that some actors just get fit for them. I mean, I think, you know, that ends up being the like bonus, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I'm sure he, but you know, it helps if someone else is like, you know, kind of footing the bill for it. But that was kind of like everyone always thought that that Camille Nanjiani got ripped because like Marvel made him, but like they didn't care. They wanted him to just be him, but he's like, nah, I'm gonna get, <laughs> gonna get jacked. <laughs> that, so like that's another thing for him to just be like, nah, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ripped. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well. Thank you so much for listening to the Josh Johnson Show. We had a great time recording. I hope you had a great time listening. If you are looking to catch up with us on any of the socials, you can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, Josh J Comedy on Facebook, Josh Johnson on Twitter, and Josh Johnson Comedy on TikTok and YouTube, where we're going to be posting clips of the show. And if you're looking for Logan, you can follow me on Instagram at Logan M. Nielsen. And if you want to get into the mailbag like those people there, you can email us Josh Johnson Show at gmail.com. And if, say, I I don't know, next week, let's say Wednesday, the 27th, around 10 p.m. ish. If you feel like meeting us in person, you can come out to Union Hall in Brooklyn. We are doing a live in person Josh Johnson show. So we're going to do some stand up and then we're also going to do a full episode. We're going to do a full recording of, of us doing the show with an audience. We did it last year and it was uh, an absolute delight. And if you can't make it to that, if you can't be at it's that, sadly you're busy. You're busy next Wednesday or something because you're in Philly. We're going to be in Philly right after oh that. Oh my God! For three whole days. Yeah, in Philly for three whole days from the twenty seventh to what? Twenty eighth to the thirtieth uh, is okay. what we're doing shows. So and that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You got one show on Thursday. You got two shows Friday and Saturday. That's that's five chances to to come. so in that chunk of days that's six chances to come see us in person and if you don't do it you just didn't want to you know you just didn't want it bad enough and we all know it you won't i mean be, we, you won't be a champion like the child that is above me <laughs> my Airbnb. we hope to see you there thanks so much for listening and have a great rest of the week y'all are the best see you later